Once upon a time, there was a prince who fell in love with a beautiful mystery girl who left a shoe at his party. The girl's evil stepsisters want the prince for themselves, so they make the shoe fit by chopping off bits of their own feet. Luckily, the prince is not fooled and he finds his true love, Cinderella. At the wedding, the evil stepsisters have their eyes pecked out by birds. <laughs> The Brothers Grimm put a gory twist on European folklore back in the 19th century. Thanks to them and writers like Goethe and Schiller, Germany has long been known as the land of poets and thinkers. But is it a land of book lovers? According to a recent survey, Germans read less than people in countries such as Brazil, Russia, Italy and China. But Germany does boast Nobel Prize winners for literature and the biggest book fair in the world. One German airline even offers a free extra kilo of luggage in summer just for books. An avid reader in Germany is known as a bookworm, a book fool, or rather charmingly, a reading rat. So, let's see how well these reading rats know their books. Wovon gibt es in Deutschland mehr? Brauereien oder Bibliotheken? Ich glaube Brauereien. Oh, ich würde sagen auch Brauereien, ja. Bibliotheken? Hoffe ich doch sehr. Ganz sicher Bibliotheken. Wer hat der Tod in Venedig geschrieben? Das war doch dieser Krimi-Autor, oder? Thomas Mann. Deutschland verkauft die meisten Buchlizenzen an welches Land? Puh, schwierig. USA? Ich habe überhaupt gar keine Ahnung. Holland? In die Schweiz? Frankreich? China? China? Wow, das hätte ich nicht gedacht. Wer reitet so spät durch Nacht und Wind? Äh, Man liegt auf der Zunge. Es ist der Vater mit seinem Kind. Es ist der Vater mit seinem Kind. Ja, genau, richtig. Das Gedicht hieß er König. Das war Schiller. Der andere. Dann war es Goethe. <lacht> Entschuldigung. <lacht> Fun fact, many countries write the titles on their book spines from top to bottom, but in Germany, they're usually written from bottom to top. So when a German book is cover up on the coffee table, the title is upside down on the spine. Books can be pretty pricey here, because all shops have to sell new releases at exactly the same price. The idea is to protect independent bookshops and to ensure that a diverse range of books gets published. The best sellers, all sold at full price, essentially help finance the more niche books and works by unknown authors. The book has been rather symbolic at various stages in Germany's history. German scholar Johannes Gutenberg revolutionized reading in the 15th century with his mechanical printing press that used movable metal type. He soon got to work making the first printed copies of the Bible. 500 years later, books that weren't approved of by the Nazis were being tossed onto bonfires across Germany. The images chillingly recalled the words of German writer Heinrich Heine, where books are burned, people will also be burned. Today's German National Library is a sign of German reunification, having brought together existing institutions from East and West Germany. It houses some 36 million items, and anyone who publishes anything in Germany is required by law to send two copies to the National Library. Talking of libraries, ich glaube schon, dass die Deutschen eine ganz besondere Beziehung zu ihren Büchern haben und auch eben zur Bibliothek als Ort, wo sie eben diese Bücher auch finden können und wo sie zunehmend eben auch weitere Angebote in Anspruch nehmen können, die auch den Wert des Buches dann steigern. So, what do the Germans like to read? There are a few regulars in the bestseller list. The dictionary, the Bible, anything by or about the Pope. But there are sometimes a few surprises. Ready for story time? How does pooping work? Mm, vomiting. Or how about a few facts about feces? Julia Ender's Darm mit Charm, literally charming bowels, is a deep dive into the human digestive tract. And it was a runaway success in Germany. One genre that often dominates the fiction charts here is the Krimi, or crime thriller. These come with gloomy covers and ominous titles like The Search, The Package, The Corpse in the Beach Basket. Many books that make it big in Germany are translations from other languages, like Harry Potter, which has sold more than 33 million copies in German. A muggle is a muggle, Buckbeak is Seidenschnabel, and Fluffy the three-headed dog is called... Oh, Fluffy. German books don't always make it onto the global market, but there have been some resounding export successes, like Michael Ender's Neverending Story, or Bernhard Schlink's The Reader, and often dubbed the J.K. Rowling of Germany. Cornelia Funke has captured imaginations worldwide with her Inkworld series about a little girl who loves to read. There was another reason why Maggie took her books whenever they went away. They were her home when she was somewhere strange. They were familiar voices, friends that never quarreled with her, clever, powerful friends.